If the book is written, that I'm saved by grace. Oh, the joy that came to you, my soul. Now I am forgiven, man. I know by the blood I am made Amen. I was telling you last night about the anointing. And because some of you have not been exposed to what we call the Holy Spirit revival, it started in 1904, about 100 years now, in Azusa Street. And uh, William Seymour, he was a black man. And when the revival came, singing also came. And while the people were singing, a lot of miraculous things will be taking place. That's what, why you'll find that the churches that came out of the Pentecostal revival, they are singing churches. If you have been an Anglican, a Catholic, a Methodist, a Presbyterian, all that you are seeing, what you are seeing is so dull that the children will be going to sleep. Holy, holy, holy. Lord God Almighty. That's what I sang in the Anglican Church for many years. I never woke up. And then I got to, you know, these white garment churches. They didn't have salvation. But they, you know, those people, uh, they can sing. And when they sing, their hands, I said, this is something. And then I got near them. As I, I wasn't born again. But, you know, just the singing. And I went to the drummers there. I said, how do you do this thing? Then they showed me. And I took the drum away from them. And I'm telling you, you think I'm singing now. When I begin to beat that drum, all the evil spirit in town <laughs> will come upon those people. And, and then, 1963, somebody invited me to a church, and I told him, please, you are inviting me to church. You come to my own church, Ladura Church, or where our white, or our white house type of black inside. And then, I want you know, I wear that thing like this, and I feel inspired. And I'm telling even at that time, I refused to have girlfriends. I refused to you know, do anything, because I was in my class in the secondary school. In the 50s, I was the spiritual man. If anybody had a dream, it's me they will come to, to come and interpret for them. Because they knew I was different. Girlfriend, no, because I said I wanted the spirit of God. I wanted the power of God. It's a long time. 1959, I fasted for three days. Because I was looking for the Holy Ghost. I wasn't even born again. And I was in the Alagora church, in the White Garment church. And uh, in the school, it was a school for an atheist. And that school for an atheist, he taught us there was no God. I said, no, I will show this man there is God. And I wasn't born again. And then I will run away from school. I will go to church to go and beat drum. And when they take attendance, because other people will go to town, they go to dance, they go to find women, they go to do prostitution. When they go like that, when I go, I go to church. And some of the people will go to church with me. After church, they will go for prostitution. I will come back straight. And when I come back, sometimes it's in the night. And all the idol worshippers, because there's a river between our school and, and the town, all the idol worshippers, they'll be worshipping the idols. And all the bad, bad people in town, if you know, on the street, on the road, in the night. Because sometimes we'll finish 11, 30, 12 o'clock. Because I believed I went to serve God. And God honored my foolishness and faith. 
and I will come back like this, wearing my white garment, and I put my candle in my hand. You know, we burn candle. And from the church, all through that river road to the town, that candle will be burning like this. And if the candle, hot candle, the one that's dropping on my hand, I will never shake my hand. I believe that that was part of my sacrifice serving God. And one night I went out like that, and some other students went out. And when I came back, they said they called the role. The principal discovered those who are not in school. I said, not me. I went to serve God. And the following morning in the assembly, they called us together. And they said, all these students, they mentioned their names except my name. And they suspended them. And they said, they will come back from the suspension at when the exam was starting. And they came back. Those who failed, they dismissed them. And I still remained in that school. Because when I served God, even in my ignorance and sin and no salvation, I did it with all my heart. And the Lord knew. And so when this uh, person invited me, I said, come to our church. I said, you come to my church and see. But I followed him. And when I got there, they sang. Oh, I said, looks like this one is like, as I thought, this is like our church. Because they too, they were singing. And then eventually I got the singing. I got the wordings of the song. Now, this is before the 5th of April. I gave my life to the Lord. Immediately, I began to learn real, real music. And I bought an organ. And I began to practice every day. And I sing, and I play, and I compose, and I transpose. I do quite a lot of things in music. And it was um, 1973, 72, end of 72, that I went to Omaha. And those who are from Omaha, the Master's Vessels Group. And uh, they, they, those people too, they can sing. And then when I had the singing again, I said, wow, this is something. And it was there I began to hear about Charles G. Finney. I had some friends there. And then some Pentecostal things. And now I began to read. Really read now. And T.L. Osborne. And John G. Lake. And all these people. And I said, if I did all that when I was a sinner. Now that I came to the Lord. Then I pushed myself inside. I said, I'm going to swim in the river of the Spirit. It took me years, it took time, it took time, it took sacrifice, it took consecration, it took dedication. But one day, great day, I'd been saved and sanctified. And then on the 23rd of October 1974, it was in Birmingham, in England. I'd been reading, and because I'd been reading, I'd read the book of a particular man. And that book interested me. And he was living in uh, Birmingham. And I, I went for my postgraduate something, but I abandoned the postgraduate thing, and I went to Birmingham. And then I, I said, uh, I'm, I'm talking about the Holy Spirit, and this one he said is very simple. And he said, how simple it is it? He said, look at Luke chapter 11. And then he said, ask, it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, it shall be opened unto you. Everyone that has kept receiveth, he that seeketh findeth. And he that knocketh to him, that knocketh shall be opened. If ye be evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children. How much more shall, they, shall your father, who is in heaven, give the Holy Ghost to them that ask him? He said, then he asked me, who are the people he will give to them that ask him? What do you want to do now? You came from London to Birmingham. What do you want to do? I want to ask him. Will he give you? I said, I asked before. He said, answer my question. Then he told me, read that thing again. I read it again. Then he asked me a question, will he give you? I said, I've been praying for He said, read it again. And I read it again. Will he give you? Then it dawned on me. I said, yes. When I said yes, the Spirit came. 